hello and welcome back it's tanya from tatter treasures hello um if you're new then welcome welcome aboard it's always nice to have uh, new people if you want to say hello then do so um if you're not a member of the facebook group why not <laughs> the link is in the description and all the um moderators and um group helpers um their links are in there too um so today is the 30th of june we're going to light the candle and just take a moment to send some some loving thoughts out to to anybody um that's that's in need of oh my goodness okay we'll set the candle over there i don't think we can see it I might move my cameras on a little bit. Hold on, that's it. Still can't see it. Anyway, it's the 30th of June. So, if one does not know to which port one is sailing, no wind is favourable. And I do like that. <coughs> right. This is a little project what I saw Rita Jensen do and I was absolutely blown away. It's really simple and she didn't it, like she didn't make a mistake on it. Now I'm guessing that I'm going to get in a right old mess with it. And what it is is covering CD cases. You know, we we cover them in all sorts of ways um you know, sometimes we cover the whole thing, especially, you know, this side you could use a punch and just uh, put something on or we collage it or we uh, stamp it or stencil it or, you know, all these kinds of things. And apart from the stenciling and uh, stuff, it is quite, um, not hard, but it, it's, it's fiddly and it's a lot just for... Um, you know, a, a small part. So um, she decoupaged them and all she did was put the glue uh, around it. And then I don't, I'm guessing she left it to dry and then she ripped it and just tore around it. And it looked fab. Like I say, I'm thinking that this is going to be a disaster. Um, but I need, I need to try it and I need you to witness it. <laughs> So we'll see, we'll see how we go. So I've a couple of napkins here. All these ones have been sent to me. I'm not sure um, who's sent what, but they're really uh, pretty and um, they'll come in uh, handy with um, my upcoming project with my new, uh, new kit. I can't work out if that's still got a layer on. The others definitely haven't. No, I don't think it has. It just feels just a little bit thicker um, than the others. And this one. So really uh, pretty. So let's um, we'll do this one on here. And so I need to be really careful not to get, well, to make sure that I totally cover it and not to get it on the window if this works out I will be absolutely amazed <laughs> I'll be gobsmacked right I'm just gonna go around with my finger and uh, hope, hopefully get some off right I think I'm gonna go that way so it can flip out uh, that way so let's pop it that way and lay it on. Mm. 
okay so i'm just going to try and uh cut around it i have put it on a bit wonky but i'm sure i'm sure that'll be fine i'm just going to cut around it uh roughly till it's till it's dried so that's that one okay and we've got this little one so i might as well use this bit up and then i can save oh let me go that way and i can save that half because i'd the only you know ones that i'd got one of and we'll go upwards with that flip okay from those sides yeah and I'll just cut that off so we'll do another couple um, and we'll see how it see how it goes so which one shall I have Ooh. I think I'm gonna have this one so I think I'll start by cutting it half down. Okay. And pick CD. I have just ordered um, a big bulk of um, CD. Um, envelopes the big ones and the small ones so in the next few weeks i will have some uh, mixed packs in my etsy shop there um i mean i don't know what it's like in in other countries but um yeah it was quite a, a mission to actually find uh, some especially the mini um ones so yeah i've managed managed to get some so as soon as they arrive I will pop them in the shop. Okay. That's beautiful that this one is. Okay. Chop down that. So I'll do a small one. So I did that one up last time, didn't I? So I'll do a downward one. Yep. I might end up being a disaster. I think we are going to be a disaster. I'm going to say she made it look easy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And we'll just cut around this. So let's have a go at that first one. Got that bit of washi tape. So, as far as I can remember, I'm stuck. Oh, I don't know. She, 
she didn't do it like this i'm sure it's something as if she just ripped it once and and the whole thing just came off yep yeah maybe i'd have been best to wait till till it properly dried but yeah i'm um, taking it off the the envelope hmm I mean, that's okay having some still on the envelope. I quite like that. So I suppose I can patch it, patch it up. Let me hold it in my hand and see if that's any better. Oh yeah, I can see, I can see the circle a bit now. Hmm. Gone a bit far down there. I'm kind of liking uh, that. And then I think I'll go round and, and actually glue those bits down. Hmm, what do you think? Just tell me what you think. Let's try and get that bit. I'm not liking that bit. Okay, let's cut round it. So I'm just going to have that like that. So I'm just going to bend that back. That's it. I suppose I could do that, couldn't I? Suppose that done. Because obviously I've got to ink. So that gap there. I mean that gap there. I can just put a napkin there. I think once that's dried in ink, I think it's going to look okay. Right, I'll just put it to the side a minute. Let's have a little go with uh, this small one. I think I'm going to cut it round first. Oh, I'll get off. Okay, so it's still fiddly, but enjoyable and different to what, you know, what I would normally do. Bit 
to know when just when to when to stop. I do like that um, torn look though. I might even do some um, some splattering over it. I wonder if I'd be best to pop that medium over the top and let them dry, ink them up and give them some some splashes. I don't think I'm keen on that bit coming down. Let's have a look. <coughs> yeah, I'm liking that at the bottom. Almost a little bit easier. I don't know if it's because I've done done a couple now. that one so I'm going to cut that down so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to pause um, I'm going to do another couple um, and then we'll come back and uh, we'll put no I'll put my medium on and um, I'll come back when when they're dry because I'm not going to be able to dry them with the um, heat gun because uh, of the plastic. So I'll probably just put, you know, try and just put a thin, a thin coat on. Yeah, I like that. I think do, with the flowers, it's, it's really nice um, it being kind of un, uneven. Okay, so I'll see you in a sec. Okay, I have uh, <coughs> put my medium on them. I'm really liking um, them like that. I think they look really interesting. So I'm just going to wait uh, for that to dry. And then we'll do some splashes. Um, and then, I don't know. But um, yeah, I need to think what, what cards I would put on at uh, the back. I'm thinking probably just um, a green and then maybe uh, like butterflies. I think that would look really pretty. Yeah, so see you in a tick. Okay, um, <laughs> so I've now inked um, around them. They're not totally um, dry, but uh, I didn't leave my camera on um, pause for much longer because um, it's all over here. So I'm using a uh, bundled sage and I'm just gonna go around. I've just put some tea stained uh, paper underneath uh, just to gather uh, the splatters up and it's tea stained paper what I've done um, with the plastic um, lace. Say it on that one. Yeah. 
Lovely. I'll have to get some uh, butterflies <coughs> cut out. Okay, let me just um, wipe the paintbrush. I've got the back of the napkins. Okay, now I've got uh, the Nouveau Micra Mist and it's in Wild Olive. Hopefully that will give it a nice little uh, shine. So I think I'll put a second video up because uh, this one's not very long but I'll film it tomorrow but you'll get it uh, later today and um, yeah we'll get these uh, decorated because I'm keen not to put anything in my um, you know to finish off pile. Let's just use all this up. Oh yeah I love that. Yeah, so I definitely didn't do it as as good as Rita did it, but um, yeah, I really do like uh, that ripped um, around kind of um, look. So thank you for joining me, and um, I'll see you later on, and we'll get some uh, cards put in. I'll find some nice green papers, uh, probably some <clears throat> William Morris or something, and. Um, yeah, and then we'll decorate them, them up a bit. Okay, see you later. Bye.